Nathaniel Howe? You're the champion of Kirkwall, aren't you? And... Anders! Making friends as always, I see. There's no escaping you, it seems. I'm special that way. That's one way to put it. Delilah says you followed my expedition's route. Why? You went further into the deep roads than anyone believed possible. The First Warden himself ordered this investigation. I was offered a generous share of the salvage, plus extra coin up front to discourage any... curiosity. I don't remember drawing anyone a map to the Tyke. Who told you about it? An unfortunate dwarf named Bartrand. We weren't sure his information was reliable, but contacting you or Varric was deemed risky. You trusted my turncoat of a brother, but thought talking to us was risky. That's idiotic. We feared you might return if you learned of our interest in the Tyke. It looks like you met heavy resistance. After the Warden Commander spared the Architect, we thought the ensuing struggle among the Darkspawn might make the Deep Road safer. The Warden's allies assured us these tunnels would still be mostly clear, but it seems they were wrong. They seem to know a great deal about Darkspawn. Are these allies dwarves? No, not dwarves. It's complicated. Let's just say we live in strange times. Who is the Architect? The Architect was the first of the speaking and thinking Darkspawn. Very dangerous. He spread his gift to other Darkspawn. The Disciples. Fortunately, their numbers are few. We should bring your sister the good news. I cannot leave now. When we were attacked, I was separated from the rest of my expedition. Some of them may yet live. We must go deeper into the tunnels to rescue them. Who else could be alive? Some wardens survived the initial ambush. I think the dwarf we brought from Vigil's Keep survived. But who still lives? Only the Maker knows. We have survivors to find. Let's go. We should move. Stay alert for Darkspawn. Master Howe, you live. Temerin, good man. Are there any other survivors? Hopefully, up ahead. Well met are strangers in the belly of the earth. I hope Sir Fenley won't mind, but I set up the explosives here and there. Figured I'd blow up as many of the spawn as I could before I embraced the stone. How did you manage to get Kunari explosives? These aren't Kunari explosives. They're dwarven made, and don't you forget it. Temerin's cousin Dwarkin made the explosives back in Vigil's keep. Aye, and that he did, before the sudden Kunari forced him into hiding. What were you going to do with these explosives? 
We were prepared to do extensive excavations around the Tyke you found. A few well-placed booms prove most efficacious at clearing rubble. Corridors lined with explosives and darkspawn galore. It's not even my birthday. Temerin, the way behind us is clear. Send word to the Wardens in case we don't make it. Aye. I've set explosives all along the tunnels. Blow up as many of the sodding spawn as you can. Luck to you both. I fear we have come all this way for nothing. But my fallen comrades will be avenged. The Darkspawn are here. Since I've been down here, I don't sense a single darkspawn. We've won. The route to the surface should be safe now. Because of you, I will see my sister and nephew again. Please, take this with my blessing. I apologize I couldn't answer all your questions. You may have them yet in the fullness of time. Stay safe, Nathaniel. You as well.
Oh shit. Old. This is past time for joking. I'm helping you indulge in elaborate revenge fantasies. I think it's good for you. Meredith will die. Do not doubt that. Oh, go away, Justice. Can Anders come out and play? Stop. You are no fun anymore. Imagine Orzammar is like this, only with beards and an overwhelming sense of superiority.
Easy. Three Templars walk into a tavern. Not right now, Varric. You feeling all right, Blondie? You're always in Templar jokes. So you engaged a Kunari Dreadnought in battle? They engaged me in battle. I was just trying to get away. Sailing into the storm was a gamble. Took care of the Dreadnought, but it did us in too. Can't win them all. Where I come from, we would call that insanity. Nothing ventured, nothing gained.
sooner you all leave this place, the better. It is good to be among my people again. We've been here too long. Mithal protect us. Andaranatishan, child. I pray that the path before you is a safe one. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I just wanted to know how your clan was doing. We are doing quite well, considering. It is our hope that one of our sister clans will give us some of their Hala by year's end. I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him, and to tell anyone who asked where he was. I thought the point of hiding was not to be found. He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. This assassin is strange indeed. Why do you think he would give away his position? This assassin is strange indeed. Why do you think he would give away his position?
happy. From the look of these traps, the assassin was definitely expecting company. Tread lightly around here. It's done. You, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled Antivan leather. <laughs> Isabella! If it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now?
I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? Yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. How do you know I'm the champion? Slayer of Canari, Deep Roads Explorer, and a beauty to make the gods jealous? You underestimate your fame. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or, I should say, they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, other men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. I thought you'd be taller. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? He didn't mention how handsome. Ah, so you've noticed. I credit my high cheekbones and pouty lips. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends, unlike myself. But you are a woman who can clearly handle herself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nancio. Which will it be, I wonder? You're very compliant for a fugitive. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the crows. I like your list of options. But does it have to be in that order? I knew you couldn't resist my obvious charms. It's, it's the accent, isn't it? You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. I still can't believe Hawk saved you. You've been saying that for years. Would you send me over to the Canari? No, but I know what they do to their prisoners. Execute them horribly, I imagine. The Canari waste nothing. They would re-educate you into a loyal follower of the Kune. Could I refuse? 
There's always Kamek, which turns you into a mindless laborer. Like I said, they waste nothing. Oh. If you wish to thank Hawk, she's standing right there. If all the elves fought all the Canari, who do you think would win? I hate to say it, but my ancestors were not thinking clearly when they decided to bury people on top of a mountain. This place is known, even into winter. You've returned. Is there something you need? Do you sell the ink you Dalish use for tattooing? How dare you? That ink is sacred. We would no sooner sell it to Shem than we would sell our own children. No old lady sandal. How many times do I have to tell you that? What's this about? Oh, my boy sees things sometimes. Says he saw an old lady standing by his bed. She has a scary laugh. Yes, well, there you go. You didn't tell me the assassin you wanted captured was once one of your own. Ah, uh, so Zevron told you, did he? It really doesn't matter. This time, his warden isn't here to protect him. I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the Warden, I will never guess. Let me tell you, it's a burden I bear on a daily basis. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. You'll die here! Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. I'm sure you wish to loot the camp, yes? But talk to me when you're done.
Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. It is time for me to move on. Unless you'd uh, care to get to know each other better, champion. That depends. How much do you wish to test that luck of yours? Oh, I see. Fair enough, then. It is time to move on, as they say. I have a little war to wage back home, and so little time. Perhaps we'll meet again, champion. <laughs>